up? It's Nelia. Welcome back to my channel. And this is a really impromptu intro. The rest will probably be a voiceover, but hey. I just got back from seeing Black Panther. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend it. It's definitely worth a watch. And you gotta support, of course. So go see it. Definitely worth a good movie ticket or three. You know what I'm saying? And I'm wearing this headband from FM Glam. I talked about them in a previous video I did this month. So definitely check them out. Isn't it so cute? It is around that time. It is time to take my twist down. And I'm so sad because this is like my favorite protective style. I didn't do a video on how I did these or anything because I just figured there's so many videos out there for what are these like mini kinky twists, mini Marley braids, mini twists with hair. I don't know, but if you guys wanna see me do this style, I definitely can, I definitely do plan on doing it again. Not sure exactly when, but I will do them again because they are my favorite. I literally had this bun in my hair for like three weeks straight. It's good for work, it's good for working out, and it's good for going to sleep, you know? It's easy to sleep on, it's just, just love this style. Today I'm coming to you guys with a video on how I take down my protective styles. I think it's really important taking down your um, protective styles safely and also just treating your hair super super good after you take um, your protective style down, deep conditions, hot treat, hot oil treatments, all that jazz. I'm not going to do all of that in one sitting because that's a lot of treatments to do at once. But my first treatment is always a good deep condition so I'm definitely going to show you guys that and just my takedown process basically. And this is going to happen in two days because I just got home from the movies. It is about 11.30 at night and I'm just going to start taking them down, um, the whole washing and getting that getting in there all that's gonna be tomorrow and another day um, I definitely take my time with my protective styles I don't want to rush it and feel rushed and um, that's just it's really damaging when I rush so basically what I like to do first is of course just take them down I try not to use combs I try to use my fingers at first at least and then comb so basically we're gonna take this headband off which I'm really sad it's really enjoying wearing this I have another headband under that and honestly, I'm gonna keep it in this bun and just take a twist down. And this is really self-explanatory. I'm just gonna gently... Now, I'm not gonna actually save this hair. I would if they were my longer Marley twists, but this is like the third time I used this Marley hair. So after two to three times of using it, I toss it away, so trash. Then you have this, and when I get here, I just gently finger to tangle, and you will get shedding. So all that's just gonna go in the trash. So get a trash bag ready. <laughs> but basically, this is what I do until I finish my whole entire head. I'm not gonna record myself taking these down because that's boring, and it's boring to watch. And this is all I do. I just finger comb, get all the knots out at the root, Ooh, gently. Right, stay tuned for the rest of my taking down protective style process and I hope you guys learned something from it and I hope it helped you out. If you have any more hair videos that you want to see from me, especially now that my hair is out of this protective style, let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely do that for you guys. Alright, I'll see you guys. Bye. So this is my hair the next day. I ran around and did errands. I just threw in these two flat twists and pinned it in the back. It took me about an hour and a half, two hours to take all the twists gently out my head. So this is definitely dirty, sweaty hair at this point. But we're gonna start with an apple cider vinegar rinse. It's just really good for your scalp and really good at releasing that dirt and everything that's kicked up on your scalp from the protective style just being in for so long. And then we're going to follow up with my shampoo and deep conditioner. Sometimes 
So after a protective style, I like to use a very clarifying shampoo and I'm using the Shea Moisture Clarifying Shampoo today. And this is a really good squeaky clean shampoo. And I'm going to follow it up with the Babasu Deep Conditioner. I have never used this before. This is my first time using it. So let's see how it does. <laughs> So this is after shampooing with the Shea Moisture. As you can see, my curls are already starting to bounce back. It's very, very squeaky clean. So now it's time to add in some more moisture. Oop, quick lint check. <laughs> now don't mind my, um, what is that to you guys? Well, my right eye, it's really my left eye. But don't mind that eye. It was really late and that's what you get for wearing contacts in the shower where you're not supposed to. But anyways, check out this new spray bottle. I've seen a few natural hair YouTubers use it and it's so cool. You can pick it up from Sally's. You can just squirt it one time and this giant mist of water comes out. It's so useful and you can turn it and twist it any type of way and water will come out. It's just oh, it's so amazing and it's not that expensive at all either. But here I'm just adding more water to my hair to get it ready for the deep conditioner. I like to keep my hair moist of course before I apply my deep conditioner. So yeah, I'm just parting my hair into sections and applying the deep conditioner. Now off bat, I'm already impressed with this deep conditioner because as soon as I applied it, my tangles and knots and everything like melted away and that is just so important to me when it comes to deep conditioners. I like to be able to detangle with it and also feel it softening my hair, adding in that extra moisture, and just doing all of those things. And as you can see here, I'm easily detangling. It's great. So, so far so good. And the smell's not too overwhelming. It's a nice gentle smell. So yeah, so far so good with this deep conditioner. So now all my twists are done. I'm just adding extra conditioner to the ends in the scalp. I'm gonna cover it up with a plastic cap. And then in addition to this cap, if you're going out, you can add a beanie on top. <laughs> Not cute, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. But I think I kept this in for about 30 minutes. Like that's what the bottle said, so I followed the bottle's instructions. And yeah, I, I actually like this deep conditioner. I'm gonna use it again and come back to you guys with the final thought, of course. <laughs> So here is my hair with the deep conditioner rinsed out. I could have rinsed it out way much better, Nelia, but <laughs> it was like one in the morning at this point. So I was like, you know, so just get this over with. <laughs> but as you can see, the top is still a little frizzy. I just need to follow up with my protein treatment in a few days. And that's the amount of hair I lost when putting in the deep conditioner. But so far, so good. All right, and here's the next day. I went to sleep with my hair wet. Um, if you guys wanna see how I wrap up my hair at night when it's wet, I can do a video on that. But this is the next day, I just fluffed it out a little bit. And yeah, I definitely, of course, added my um, leave-in conditioners and other treatments. I can definitely do a wash and go video before you guys. I haven't done that yet, it's crazy. But yeah, so here it is. My diva cut has definitely grown out. If you guys remember that video, I'll put the card up above, but it's grown out, it looks crazy. But yeah, my curls definitely popped back from that deep conditioner. Once I put in a protein treatment, it will be even better, but this is great. I like the deep conditioner and my hair feels so good, especially my scalp. My scalp definitely needs some love after that protective style, but that's basically all the steps I follow. I keep it really quick and simple. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped you. Bye.